and welcome back. This is Koya. Don't forget to show love to the channel by liking the video and subscribing. Today's topics are about Doja Cat, Bia, and Nicki. Now it's time to get into it. We got some new music coming from the rap ladies because Bia recently announced she got a verse back. We know that Lotta received a verse too. Also, she has been raving about her Big Energy remix releasing soon with multiple features. And I wonder what is going on here with Bia and Lotto. Do you think Nikki gave them verses to use because she did shout them out along with other female and male rappers by showing them some love? Or do you think that Lotto and Bia might have a collaboration together? But who knows at this point? Speaking of Nicki Minaj, someone asked if she was actually performing at this festival in the Netherlands. Nicki said no ma'am, and they have a bunch of other celebrity names like Little Baby, Da Baby, and Tory Lanez. Y'all be careful to not get bamboozled and conned out here by these festivals. Also, let me play some words from the queen gathering some folks. That radio has shown mad love, so it's nothing too rich and moan about it's nothing to complain about radio has shown mad love um and to make it clear spotify has shown mad love um you know that do we have a problem went number one rap song number one rap r&b song number one digital number one streaming number one number one number one number one in the meantime shut the fuck up if you don't know what you're talking about and for those of my barbs that always ride for me and with me I love you, okay? All right, let's switch over to talk about Ms. Doja Cat. Everybody loves you. I love you. I, I want love you. Me. I love you. I don't love me. I love you. No, I'm not for the means. Shut the fuck Girl, Doja has been cutting up lately on social media and people are loving it. Homegirl really posted her wig laid back before the installation process, and I can't with her. If y'all don't know, Doja has entered her French moment, but she didn't forget to come at Taco Bell. So Doja asked them about the Mexican pizza again, and Taco Bell wasn't having it at all. I don't know French, but that little emoji told me everything I needed to know. Now this video of her on the Jumbotron was hilarious. Like we need some humor every now and then, when reporting celebrity news, so this is why I like Doja. But guess what though? Chef Doja cooked this meal right here and people had a lot to say about it. And I'm not gonna lie, but at first when I looked at it, I was like, what is this? But it doesn't look bad at all. I would give it a try. I do like for my food to have some Cajun or Creole influence, but that's just me. Later, Doja tweeted about being embarrassed. Then she said, I am very shy, so good night. Aw, oh, girl, don't go. So Doja made a TikTok to explain and clap back at the folks, saying that she couldn't have made this chef-style meal on her own. But let me roll that clip. Nobody believes me that I made a fucking, like, some dish that I posted on Twitter, so I'm just going to make a TikTok about it. <laughs> so I, took, I took a lobster. Here's the tails. I didn't use the tails. I'm going to save those. And if you don't fucking believe me, here's the goddamn shells. Okay, so there's the shells, and then fucking here's the cream. Where's the fucking cream? Oh, you. F oh. Anyway, um, a friend of mine just used the cream. Here's the cream. <laughs> fucking. So I took the cream. I put it in a pot, a small pot like this, and then I um, I put on the heat really low, and I put the shells of the lobster into the pot. And then I put kombu, which is like a seaweed. And then I put um, a little bit of lemon. I put dill. I put uh, the fat of the lobster. I like, tried to scrape that. That comes with the shells or whatever. And I put that in there. I put a little bit of water. And then I think that's pretty much it. Um, and then... And then... Uh, what else did I do? And then I took caviar, which is right here. Motherfucker. <laughs> okay, okay. And that's just, you know, fish eggs. And fucking, I took a beet and I steamed it in my steamer. Okay, that's a steamer. <laughs> and then uh, I sliced the beet really thin. I put it in the steamer and then I put, um, 
I poured the cream over the thing with the fucking caviar and the, I took the claw of the lobster, put it on the beet, and then it was amazing. Anyway, this TikTok was a, a waste of time for anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, anyway, 